Hello Internet, and as promised, my lightsaber. Check this baby out. Wow! Oh, ho There you go. I promised you I'd show you my version. So mine's slightly, a little more sort of ornate in the handle, and much, much longer saber portion, which is quite nice for getting the upper hand on, on Sebastian. Bratlett has, stands no chance against me. Um, and again, you can change your colors. Episode six. Episode five. Episode four. Episode five. Episode four. Episode two. So cool. I, I cannot get over these. I really can't. Okay. But what am I here for? I'm here to tell you that, yes, in fact, I have done my burn and learn. It was a late one because we had three kids running around with lightsabers and tournament of towers and uh, Magic the Gathering and all sorts of video game related stuff. There was a there was a, a big um, like a sleepover last night and uh, so not not at our house at, at some friends' house and um, lucky them. Uh, we actually got to have a we actually got a real night last night, Jane and I. But before I go on, let me tell you that this is a burn and learn, and the burn and learn is my bid to stay alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son, and also to enjoy the twilight years with my amazing, brilliant, beautiful wife, Jane. I hate exercise, it's boring, so I like to learn something while I'm doing it, and then I like to share what I've learned with you in the sweatiest way possible, voila. And uh, today I'm sharing, uh, ow, I'm sharing lightsabers. Ow, I hit myself in the face, that hurt. Ah, I got, like, not only did I hit myself in the face, I caught my, I caught my eyebrow in my glasses. Very painful. Um, glad you were there. <laughs> glad you were here to see that. Uh, so, today, uh, yes, we were recovering from a oh, lovely night last night. Went to this fantastic restaurant that we absolutely adore, and I'm not going to tell you because I don't want anyone showing up there. Um, but a just fantastic place where I had my, my 50th birthday, and I just absolutely amazing place. Um, they treated us beautifully. Uh, we then came home and watched The Favorite. Oh, for a guy who loves Barry Lyndon, like one of my favorite movies of all time is, is, is Kubrick's Barry Lyndon. Um, really long, crazy, bizarre movie. But this, the favorite was like, was the first film that's really, to me, hit that kind of, is it Kubrick-esque? <laughs> kubrick I don't know. It was just beautiful, wide lenses and... I don't know, 1700s or whatever it was. It's just, it's absolutely a gorgeous film, beautifully acted, I think beautifully directed. I, you know, it's far beyond me. I'm sure I missed a lot of stuff in it, but I just thought it was, I thought it was brilliant. I loved every second of it. And it's just really nice to watch a whole movie. <laughs> I guess we don't do a lot of that around here anymore. Um, anyway, so that was, uh, that was lovely. And I thank our friends for taking the kid last night because uh, it was just, yeah, it was great. A great night. Um, and uh, today... So today we had the kids back after. They had their chocolate, they had, they had chocolate chip and, uh, yeah, chocolate chip pancakes. I'm like, wow, how do I live up to that? Uh, anyway, so they came here, they played with lightsabers. I guess lightsabers works pretty well. And we had lightsabers, video games, and, and a bunch of board games. As I say, Magic the Gathering went down. Yeah, it's okay. There was a couple of newbies on that one, and they, they, were, they were struggling with it for sure. Plus, it doesn't help that Bradley just, like, wanted to destroy them right away. I was like, dude, give them a break. If you you got to slowly, gently tease them into the obsession that is Magic the Gathering, and then you'll kill them. Uh, anyways, and we're also playing with... Um, Dungeons and Dragons. One of Baz's friends is uh, is a Dungeons and Dragons fan, so I, I was like, "Well, you're my best friend. Let's go play Dungeons and Dragons." And then lots of time spent, uh, not so much pondering 2019 as I am pondering Tech Terrors 2019 because I'm trying to figure out what to do with that. So again, desktop PCs. If anyone has any or any old toys or anything, they're in the Toronto area and they can somehow get them to a school at Danforth and Broadview or no Danforth, a little further than that. Um, Danforth and Carla around there, sort of local school we've got here. Um, that would be that would be amazing. Um, anyways, uh, so uh, yeah, be in touch. Let me know. I'm not making much sense. Very, very, very tired. <laughs> I have to say, I'm not sure I'm going to make it to midnight tonight. Anyways, the learn part today was again was this Steam Makers uh, book, which is just wow. Um, the stuff it talks about, the Philadelphia. Um, um, science Center, I guess, for want of a better word, I'm not sure what it is exactly. I'll, again, I'll put links into this when I actually made sense of it. Uh, just the, the project that they started at their science center and then moved out into into the sort of the general community and how successful that was, and just how some of these schools have taken it and run with it. The idea of I really like this hands in pockets approach to 
to teaching, where you're not, well, you're not even teaching. Teaching is the wrong word. I'm not teaching, I'm not a teacher. Um, facilitator is the word that I would never, ever use, but that's sort of what you're doing is you're just trying to sort of poke people in the right direction, prod them into learning things as opposed to actually sort of teaching them stuff. And as I say, I'm, I'm learning with the kids on this stuff, so it's really, really fun, and I'm, I'm, I'm looking at a bunch of easy robot stuff, and I'm also really, really want to get a CNC machine because I feel like there's a lot of stuff we could do. One of the issues I found with 3D printing is that it takes forever. I mean, the design stuff's fantastic, but the actual process of 3D printing takes a really long time. It's beautiful. I love it. I've got no problems with it because I'm old. I'm a dinosaur. I'm moving at dinosaur speeds. Kids moving a lot faster. So the idea of a CNC is that we could cut out pieces and they would also add an element of building to it as well. Like, yes, we can 3D print parts and then snap them together and all, but um, the idea of being able to have sort of sliced up stuff that they can then have to build as well would be ideal for the sort of the maker and the learning um, perspective. And it adds another level of construction and cooperation and stuff. So I'm, I'm thinking about trying to approach things like that. Um, hopefully with Easy Robot's new, um, God, what is it called? Uh, a Shelly, their new Shelly bot. So I'm hoping to, to figure something out with that. Um, so there you have it, there you be. I should sign off with my, with my lightsaber. Blue again, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think we need episode one. That's my baby. Woohoo! Episode one. Oh man, I am. I swear to God, this may become a problem. This this may follow me wherever I go. Um, so look, until we geek again, saber or not, here I come. Woohoo!